I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Beautiful place. With a dreadful murder. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched, per your usual instructions, Mr. Holmes. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. Are you able to identify the men who are with the victim in the steam room? Yes. The manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. He doesn't seem right in the head. Well, we shall see. You found no murder weapon? No, and that's why I called you. All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, and they remained so until we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. I see. Was there anyone else here? Apart from those gentlemen in the steam room. Yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He'll be able to give you more details. Are the steam rooms on the other side, Mr. Holmes? Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night? Yes. Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up, and then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Hmm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. And what happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room. Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise.
The changing room. The steam room. Frigidarium. These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. Clothes belonging to one of the suspects. Champagne for a special occasion. An ice bucket to keep the champagne chilled. Expensive clothes belonging to one of the men from the steam room. Champagne for a special occasion. An I unopened. It was intended to be enjoyed after the steam session. with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. Like the one you almost had an hour ago. And let us forget about that. There was only one hit from the weapon. It pierced the right eye straight through to the brain. Death would have been instantaneous. Hmm. The wound should not have bled so profusely. This pool is rather large. Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Some dirt. Look, Watson. He was wearing a ring. He very likely removed it before the steam session. But death is very recent, between 30 minutes to one hour ago. I think we have found all that we can here, taking into consideration the abysmal lighting. Constable, we have finished with the body. We don't have many leads here. What concerns me is that we still have to find the murder weapon. Mr. Holmes? Please have the body removed without disturbing anything else in the room. All right, Mr. Holmes. I was wondering, Holmes, it's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are a great many possibilities. The murderer was in a hurry. Or he is an artist. Or a ghost. Or he wanted to ensure that I'd be brought in on the case. Probably the latter. You are ridiculous. Do you know that?
I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. This key was covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. One lens is cracked, probably due to the temperature of the brazier. These lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. I will need something to pick up this melted metal. It is too hot. I cannot reach into it. Blood traces wiped on the towel. It's horrible. So Rodney is dead. Can't we speak about it somewhere else? I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. It's horrible. I can't talk at the moment. The grid cannot be removed. The weapon is nowhere to be found. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? None, Lestrade. How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then? I put the key inside my desk, but when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared. I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time, or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning, and you went to the post office, where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. But how could you... No, I... The telegram was for someone in Manchester. Mr. Holmes, it's imp... I'll tell you everything. I left the baths at 7.20. My sister wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes. And I closed the baths on my way out. 
Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Sir Gregory would give me the sack. I need this job. I see. There is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing room. Do you have any idea who left it there? There is? Are you quite certain? I didn't pay any attention. Do you believe that it's important? An embroidered silk handkerchief. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wort flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. An ordinary pencil. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. I see the join. This ring was repaired, and quite badly too, with silver. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. An old and rather dirty coin. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces.
and then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. Mr. Holmes, the coroner... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Well... drawn map. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. Some light bruising caused by a rope. The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Uh, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. What is your occupation? I'm an archaeologist, specializing in the Roman period. I'm working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site, and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has. Thanks to Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? 
I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, oh God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room, and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense, and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting. But we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck, and with all the steam, it, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Uh, Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? No, I did not. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Um, uh, yes. But since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself? Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, uh, I am Tristram Garrow. What is your occupation? I, I am a councillor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing at the baths? Well, I, I follow the researches. I am uh, I interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing by, by that. I, I apologize. What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working with a genius. He was a hard man, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. And he, uh, 
He, he trusted me, but, uh, oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh, I, I, I feel bad. I, um, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so, so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well I in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know. Flying through the air, I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape, I, I don't remember. You saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if I in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was... Shining like, like gold. His ring! Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring. Digging dark secrets. Really? I... Uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? What? No. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I, 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 I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that or he is a good actor. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? You were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious, authoritarian, unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. But then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea, but after all, it was not my business. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say.
Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the Baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Baths' publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Did you bring a bottle of champagne to the baths? Absolutely not. Sir Rodney did, I think. On the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. Selenite, pyrite, otherwise known as fool's gold. White clay particles. Interesting. According to the color and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. The sample of dirt belongs to the White London Clay region, located near the city of St. Albans. Let us analyze this blood sample. This blood has not coagulated well. It seems very liquid. That is strange. Let us see what is inside it. Hydrogen peroxide will bring any foreign matter to the surface. I must take a pipette and place several drops of hydrogen peroxide. Water. This blood is heavily diluted with water.
frigidarium. This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. Tools used by archaeologists in their research. I will need these tongs. Glass plate negatives, a remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. A glass plate negative is missing. It is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots. could have happened <laughs> yes it is somewhat treacherous <clears throat> fortunately I am unscathed to where does this corridor lead to the frigidarium the coal room barely unscathed and by a very small margin and treacherous is an understatement those stones weigh tons we won't move them it does not matter if our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed.
I should analyze this melted metal. Here it is. By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Watson, pack your bag. We are visiting a location in St. Albans marked on Sir Rodney's map. This is a piece of metal taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Let us compare this sample with a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. The reaction is the same red stain. It is silver, Britannia silver quality. What should we do next, Holmes? This archaeological site has been abandoned. Why did Bentcliffe come here? This is the map of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city.
The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. The Cyclops, a one-eyed creature helping Vulcan at the forge. Vulcan, the god of fire and metalworking. I don't need the ropes for now. Excavating tools, a bucket, shovel and brush. I don't need the ropes for now. This railway is used to remove rubble from the site. The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. This is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. This is
It is a broken statue of a bull. It is a statue of Minerva. Neptune, the god of the sea. Construction hooks. Construction hooks. This wall was covered with mud recently. What could be hidden here? Frigidarium. It is located at the Roman Baths in London. Someone took the time to hide the fresco, but what for? I need to visit this place. Mr. Holmes, we've cleared the corridor to the Frigidarium. You can visit it now. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. I could find some clues by activating the flagstones. A hidden sign. hidden symbol.
A symbol. Now I have all the clues to help me find where these symbols are leading. All I need is imagination. The signs are pointing to this bust. What is this place? I am unsure, Watson, but everything points to the fact that it was the last place visited by Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. We are approaching the end of this mystery. A broken glass plate. What is it doing here? I should examine it at Baker Street. How very peculiar. An ice maker. Why would Sir Rodney have brought such a device here? A sack of crude salt. Mithras, the god, clothed in Anatolian costume and wearing a Phrygian cap, killing the bull. This fresco resembles either a ladder or a hierarchy. This fresco resembles either...
The fire casts a shadow upon the floor. It resembles a bull. That is the symbol of Neptune, the god of the sea. It is very similar to the face of Mithras. The pillar collapsed a long time ago. This shadow seems to represent a bridge. The shadows show us the way to go. We will find Mithras after Neptune the bull and the bridge. Mummified bodies. We are in some type of catacomb. How dreadful. Judging by the broken orbit, this poor fellow met a death similar to Sir Rodney's. This shoe is not from the Roman era. It is medieval at best. This man was a tomb raider who met with an unfortunate end. By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. A shovel, not from the Roman era. We cannot go any further. Mummified bodies. We are in some type of catacomb. There are 12 pieces here. Let's try to gather them.
I will count it. It is a mold, and it is ready for casting. The mold is prepared for casting. We just need to fill it with certain material. Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid of maledictions, and yet... Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. Now, let 
Let us see what we have here. This knife is very similar to that described by the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. Watson, could you please use this negative and your photographic equipment to process the photograph? Thank you, Watson. Now I must use reagents to develop the photograph. Desert. <laughs> we are indebted to the Romans who developed the technique. Sir Rodney. Another archaeologist, most probably. Ice. Salt. Ice cream. The pyramids of Giza in Egypt. So that's it. Salt and crushed ice may help to create ice cream. If I wish to shape the ice knife, then I need to pour water inside the mold. Ice, salt, and then the mixing. It should be elementary. We need to reach minus 20 degrees Celsius to fully freeze the water inside the mold. Before beginning, 
I must remember that I have enough ice and salt for no more than four attempts. is reducing. Ice, salt, ice, a block of ice. An ice knife. A surprising and yet a very brilliant idea. It's the perfect weapon. It enables one to kill a man and then it melts. The only trace it leaves is a small puddle on the ground. Let us try to create an object from silver by using the mold. It will take a minute to melt the silver with my gas burner. Done. Now I can proceed further. The mold is hot. I should wait for it to cool down. Done. Now I can proceed further. A homemade silver knife. Excellent. We have created a knife with the silver that we found. It could have been used to kill Sir Rodney. It was extremely clever to create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Perhaps you could explain the cult of Mithras to me. No, there is nothing to say. We, we, we are not the worthy ones. But Sir Rodney believed that he was? He was wrong. I, I have visions. The golden knife, the, the mummy. Oh, it's all my fault. Calm down, Mr. Garrow. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? It didn't help. The power is too strong. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. What can you tell me about Mithras? Oh so much. It was the core of our work. Why do you ask? Were you seeking the golden knife? Ah, I see you are an amateur. Yes, the golden knife was our grail. It is said that it bears the only text explaining the ritual of the cult of Mithras. I understand. 
I read something about immortality. A myth. Uh, the knife would provide immortality only to the worthy one. And yet it is cursed, and it would kill you if you were not initiated. Did you expect to find the golden knife at the baths? Well, Sir Rodney thought that it might be there. Uh, did you observe the knife representations there? They are so extraordinary. Uh, and we had hoped that... Oh, it is a tragedy that he has passed away, taking all of his secrets with him. As soon as I've been released, I will continue Sir Rodney's researches in his memory. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. The paintings in the baths are focused on Mithras, I understand. Yes, they are what make this place remarkable. And that is why Sir Rodney came here? He believed that the golden knife, which is an ancient ritual item, was hidden somewhere around the baths. I admit that it would be wonderful if it were true. And you are not concerned by the reputation of this artifact? <laughs> you mean the curse? Before someone is dead, it is a blessing. After they are dead, well, then it becomes a curse. <laughs> Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. We should use these metal wings. We should use... There might be something behind these leaves. I have to find a way. I should use the appropriate... I should use... I should use the... I should use... I should use the appropriate... I should use
those wings on the bridge. Perfect touch. Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras, Holmes? I am not sure. We had better be careful. I saw this symbol in the tunnels underneath the Frigidarium. Which way should we go, Holmes? There ought to be some clues here. Let's take a look around. I saw this symbol in the tunnels underneath the Frigidarium.
Watson, I need your help.
This lamp is not old. The oil is still... No, I do not think so. Remember, he went no further than the catacombs underneath the fridge. golden knife of Mithras. A long-lost relic has resurfaced. Watson, it is time to conclude this case. Excellent. Now, we should find another way of getting out of here.
I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. Why have I been put into these cuffs? I fear that you had better get used to them, Mr. Blinkhorn. They are your reward for the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? No, that's a lie. It is regrettable, for you are a talented archaeologist. I will request that you are placed in a prison where you are unable to dig an escape tunnel. That is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. You The consulting are... detective who salutes your intelligence in performing the perfect crime, yes. But also the gentleman who detests your motivation. You know nothing. You wish to be the one who would reveal this to the world. Is that the golden knife? How... I also like to dig, you see. I only followed your trail. Such a pity that there is always someone willing to steal your credit, wouldn't you say? And there was the chance of a lifetime. You had to take it. It was not to be shared. It... Oh. But now I am here, and there is no one who will stop the tread of justice, Mr. Blinkhorn. Goodbye. Come. The game is afoot. Not a word. Into your clothes and come. 